So in today's video, I want to share my 8 tips on how to make your place look more cozy and cohesive, nice in general. These are the tips I have used in this place and in my previous place, trying to showcase what I did here. I'm not saying that this place is perfect, but definitely saying that I put my heart and my soul into this place. And I will definitely still make adjustments as I go, but this is where I'm at right now. So my first rule for creating a cohesive look in your bedroom or in your place in general is to pick your color team. team and stick to it while picking your basic decor and furnishing. Don't think you have to buy everything new if your current things don't match the theme you have chosen. You can definitely DIY some things and also space it throughout a longer period of time so you don't have to buy everything at once. Some time ago I bought this flower pot from Ikea and it was gold. At the time I did not yet know that I will use rose gold decor in here. Sometime later I just bought a rose gold metallic paint and I just painted it over with and now I use it on my desk to hold my pens. So definitely worth figuring out for yourself if you're on a budget. So I used white color for furnishing and then powder pink for my decor and rose gold for accents. And then I have quite a few things that are black like the legs on my chair are black and the board I have over my desk is also black but I don't necessarily think that it interrupts the cohesiveness of this place. My second tip for creating a cozy bedroom is focusing on the bed. Everyone has a bed in their bedroom. I assume. So that's a great place to start. When your bed is made right, magic happens. Using lots of matching pillows, using lots of blankets and basically layering those things on top of each other will create the cozy effect you're looking for. Basically when your bed is made it should look like a Pinterest masterpiece that you would pin onto your vision board, you know? Tip number three is decorating your walls. empty walls. It's the one thing that literally makes all of the difference. If you go into a room that's kind of nice, has all the furnishing, things are great, but the walls are white and empty, there is just too much white space. Putting up a picture, putting up a personalized art piece or some sort of material or like tapestry, wire board over your desk, a clock or something you yourself created. Take some effort because you have to physically put those things on the wall. They can really make all of the difference. If you don't yet have an idea of what you could put up on your wall, Mappiful is a great place to start. So Mappiful is a company that creates posters that are truly unique and personalized to you. I've personally chosen the star Mappiful because I feel a very strong connection to stars and the moon and all of that stuff so it really spoke to me. I love how well designed those posters are and that you can customize them, choose the colors, choose the style of your art. Mappiful lets you freeze a moment in time to see what the stars alignment was at the time you've chosen. So I personally wanted my Mappiful to show the night sky from the time I was born over the city I was born in. It's very easy to forget that the fact that I am alive and the fact that I was born is something I should be very freaking grateful about. I want to embrace that fact. So when I was thinking about what my Mappiful should be, I have ended up choosing my birthday. I was born in Duszniki Zdroj in Poland. I feel lots of love and warmth when I think about this place. My family, it's my grandparents, it's my childhood and my lifelong friends. The older I get, the less I get to visit it and this year especially with a freaking pandemic going on looking at it and feeling the warmth that comes from all of the memories I have there it's very important to me I want to bring this memory and this feeling wherever I end up living my hometown Dushniki is in the mountains so the sky above it is just always freaking beautiful and I love looking up at night it's just you know I just connected the dots and it all made sense customizing your own map people is fun it's great the only problem I had was to pick one thing from all of the amazing stuff they had 
but at this point you should already have your color team so it should be that much easier and if you want to get your own map it's at mapbeful.com they offer free worldwide shipping which is great and now they still have a black week exclusive 20% off so you can get that if you want to make a Christmas gift to someone the night you met or the night you started dating or your kid's birthday or your sister's birthday or your own birthday like I did thank you once again to mapbeful for providing me with my own map I love it and I will bring it with me wherever I go to but number four is lighting But I have a thing with lighting. Lights are everything. Two regular lamps and then I have one above me that came with the apartment and I hate it. So I don't use it at all. That's why you have all of the other lights like LED lights or string lights or curtain lights, stuff like that. Most of them are pretty cheap and affordable but there are also some more expensive options. I definitely did indulge in the light department a little bit and I do have one piece of lighting that's a little bit more expensive. My light curtain that I absolutely freaking love. It was worth the money for me because I don't use my main light in this room because I freaking hate it and I can't really change it because it came with the apartment and I'm not an electrician so I don't know shit. This does the job for me, I don't have to use the light ever again but it doesn't have to be that case for you. Tip number five is using seasonal decor. seasonal decorating is like adding seasoning to your room. It will help you refresh your space and it will give you this fresh air that you need from time to time when you want to change things around. I have not yet entered the Christmas by like everyone else on TikTok. I, I have not. I'm still on the fall side of things. I still have my pumpkins lying around and I still have my pumpkin candle and my skull lighting. So winter will not have an easy arriving in this place because we don't like her. Okay, we don't like winter. Tip number six is using candles. but it truly freaking works scented candles that have a scent that you really like and that don't make your head hurt because I definitely had that problem with candles before after 20 minutes of lighting them I just couldn't focus because my head hurt so much from inhaling them so it's definitely something you should be aware of but I right now use these candles and I absolutely love them they do not make my head hurt and they smell amazing I've been using them for a longer period of time already and they're freaking beautiful I love them I light up mine mostly when I work so that in a way it became my productivity candle I also have fragrance sticks that made coming home after a long day that much nicer. Who am I kidding? I don't really leave my home right now especially, but you know what I mean, it's just nicer in here. I started using them back in September and I think I will keep using them because I just love that they add this constant scent without being so visible and so strong as candles are. Tip number seven are plants. <laughs> not a big plant person. Not that I don't like plants, I would love to be a plant person. Right now I just have too many responsibilities on my own and I don't want to kill any more plants, okay? I have one plant right now. It's a forest in the jar kind of thing. It was a gift from my friend and it's been growing and I've been loving the fact that it grows. You know, like seeing the little leaves come out. I will probably get more plants in the future once I, you know, get my shit together. My roommate, on the other hand, oh, she, she is crazy about plants, okay? Hair plants? goals. I'm gonna show you. This is just one shelf. Tip number eight is keeping your space clean. All of the above won't make any sense if there is mess lying around at all times. I'm not a very clean person. Um, I'm definitely not. But after I moved into this room that is smaller than my previous room was, I just do not have the space to keep mess lying around and then still be able to focus. Because when this place is messy, I just feel the mess in my head and I cannot focus until I clean it up. Working in a messy place became such a burden because I don't have anywhere else to go. Like everything's closed. It's a freaking lockdown 
once again sometimes I just take all of the mess and pack it into my closet and it's not a solution and I actually definitely have to clean my closet sometime soon and whether you can focus in a messy environment or not mess takes our attention off of how aesthetically decorated the place is and we just focus on the mess instead so just maintaining a quote-unquote clean space can truly make the difference thank you so much for watching this video I had some technical issues all the time so if you saw the camera angles changing or the audio is shit it's all because everything that could go wrong with this video did go wrong so please forgive me for all of the inconveniences I will try to improve next time so once again please don't forget to check out my people because they create some awesome things and other than that I love you more than I love coffee and I see you in the next one and life is a story so make it a good one bye guys mm -hmm.